welcome to another video on learning Lightroom. Now I was giving a talk recently on Lightroom and at question time at the end there, were, there was a question asked which everyone thought was like a bug in Lightroom that needed correcting. And I do see this question come up quite a few times on forums as well. And it was to do with deleting things like watermarks and presets. Things that you no longer use and you want to get rid of them. And they seem to be saying, well, there's no way to get rid of them. The consensus was that you had to go into Windows or the Mac OS to remove them. And that was a right pain to do, which of course it would be. Well, you don't. But it's something of a hidden feature when I looked into it, that it's not that obvious until somebody points it out. So I thought it'd be useful to make a short video on how to do it from within Lightroom. So if nothing else, I can direct people to the answer to watch a video rather than try and explain it in an email because it, it can get quite complex. So here goes. Number one, deleting a watermark. So this is a watermark that you've used but then you don't need anymore. So I'm on a PC so I'm going to go to edit and down to edit watermarks. If you're on a Mac then you'd go to Lightroom and edit watermarks. Right, go into the watermark editor and you can see that down here I've got this little watermark. Now if I go up and look at these that I've got, I've, I've made before, you can see I've made quite a few and this list building up and building up. And, and what these people were telling me at the class was, well, where's delete? There's, there's no way of deleting these that if I don't want them anymore. Well, there is, but they, and they were right. It, it's not really intuitive. But what you've got to make sure of is that first you select the one you want to delete. Now, like this one, let's say I want to get rid of Ken Test. If I click on that and then go back into this little drop box, hey presto, delete preset Ken Test appears. And then we can delete it from within Lightroom. OK, number two, it's a very similar thing with, say, a metadata preset. So let's go to the metadata template. And it's here under this preset. And I've got one called Standard 2016. And I've got a couple of others that I think, well, I don't really need them anymore. So I'm going to go into Edit Presets. And here's me Edit Metadata Presets dialog. Same thing again, I'm going to go up to Custom, and here I've got the three that we saw earlier. But there's no Delete again, and it's exactly the same. If I want to delete my Basic 2015, I've got to first click on it, and then go back into the dialog, and then Delete Preset appears for me. So I can just click on that, and click Delete. Job done. And that's it. Well, I do hope you found that useful. If you did, please subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking the red subscribe button, where you'll find loads of other resources and videos on Photoshop and on Lightroom. So, I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.